There today. And meanwhile, the 2023 legislative session will soon be beginning, and one local advocacy group is asking state lawmakers to make changes around medical cannabis this year. Jillian Brooks joining us live in studio now after talking with one lobbyist and what they are asking for this session. Jillian. Sheldon, as we know, the legislator immediately went into a special session, so the regular session will start as soon as that wraps up. Now, the group Alabamians for Medical Cannabis Freedom has five asks that they, will, that they say will improve the industry within the state. Since the legalization of medical cannabis in 2021, the founder of Alabamians for Medical Cannabis Freedom, Melissa Mullins, says that has sparked interest in the industry in the Yellowhammer State. The people that really need this medication, there, there's a lot of people that have come around to the fact that, no, it's not for everybody, you know, and if, if you don't want to, I mean, you most cert certainly don't have to. But she says with that spark comes room for improvement. The advocacy group has five asks for this session. The first includes decriminalization for nonviolent cannabis convictions, something Mullins says has been a priority for the last three years. Next, the group wants to see testing procedures changed. They believe better testing needs to be developed that would not detect medical THC. Third is removing the dosage cap and making the amount prescribed flexible based on the patient's needs. Everybody's body processes cannabis and any other medication differently. Not everybody's going to process it the same way. Fourth, removing the suspension of the patient's driver's license if prescribed over a certain amount. And they're just a general patient, not a terminally ill patient. The physician has to report that and the person's license will be revoked. And lastly, looking out for small businesses. Mullins says many of the applications for farming can come with a hefty price tag, making it harder for locally owned businesses to compete. A small farmer or a small business in Alabama would have a very hard time coming up with 40, 50, 60, 70, I mean, on up into the hundreds of thousands of dollars now you can stick with WBRC for updates as these asks make their way through the legislative session. Sheldon.